Hey guys, welcome back to another Try Hack Me Capture the Flag challenge. Uh, so we will uh, work on um, another beginner level challenge. And before we start, I request you to please subscribe the channel. There are lots of videos uh, I have recorded for um, Try Hack Me challenges, and more stuffs will keep on coming. So subscribe the channel and press on bell icon as well. So today's room is. Um, this dev uh, boot to root machine for fit and besides uh, CTF so this C this challenge has already appeared in some CTF and um, it is pretty straightforward no instruction and just start the machine and read user.txt and root.txt so let's jump right di directly into it so first thing first we will start with uh, nmap scan so sudo nmap uh, hyphen sc hyphen sv and then the IP address which is 10.10.242.102 and then let's wait for this to finish and meanwhile we can check the port 80 if something is hosted there looks like yes so uh, Apache is hosted and uh, looks like default nothing special here and since Apache is hosted so we can start a uh, go buster as well dir hyphen u http colon slash slash 10 dot 10 dot um, 242 dot 102 word list user share uh, I'm going to use um, a different one this time common.txt and uh, threat uh, maybe 25 and uh, let's wait for this to finish and we can see the nmap result only port 80 is open no SSH here and now we need to rely on port 80 only to take the control and we can see index.html and other things are uh, not accessible port 03 and index.html is this page only uh, this Apache page so uh, we found one directory web dev so let's access it uh, web Dev. It is asking for credential, and the site says web dev. So let's try this one. No uh, admin password. No, nothing is working. So let's check uh, the web dev uh, default credentials if we can get something. Uh, so note about the password the default web dev user is jigsaw and the default password is jigsaw so let's try this one or maybe password as jigsaw and user as web dev nope so let's see if we can find anything else here uh, on other links so um nothing here or it is still loading yeah, it is still loading okay so it says the default user as wampp and xampp i believe this is the default username and password it looks like yes so let's try this one as well and uh, x instead of w okay and it is working and we can see one file passwd.dev and it is giving us some kind of uh, hash so let's save this for now maybe we might need this uh, to brute force something so nano hash and paste save and then um, let's see if we can utilize web dev functionality 
so let's check out if we can find some uh, tool uh, using which we can interact with uh, web dev components for so web dev uh, command line let's see so command line utility to upload uh, files uh, let's try this one this is on the official page get ca dev error i don't know how to pronounce it but i'm assuming this is yep we have this in uh, kali uh, linux by default so let's check the help so it says uh, command and then some options and then the uh, url so let's copy this uh, url and um, c-a-t-a-v-a-r and then the url and let's press enter username and password um, it was w-a-m-p-p xampp yes and health so we can run a couple of commands including get to download files and put to uh, upload files so what we can put here because this is apache server so we can put some reverse shell uh, php reverse shell so um, let's open another window here to copy the um, one of the reverse shell that I have in my system opt uh, php reverse shell php reverse shell dot php to local directory you can download this um, uh, from github just enter uh, just search for php reverse shell and let's open this php reverse shell we need to make changes here uh, okay 10.8.21.57 and let's leave this port to 1234 that's it so um, so we have file here uh, and let's zoom in here and put the file php reverse shell as is so that is uploaded and let's start the reverse shell uh, netcat session as well one two three four is the port and if we refresh we can see the php file is uploaded so we just need to click on it and hopefully the reverse shell will come yes so uh, id it is running with www w hyphen data let's check the home directory for user flag so merlin and wampp uh, let's see the uh, application folder first wampp uh, nothing is there let's check one more time yep no nothing in hidden file or directory as well Let's check the home slash uh, Merlin. So this is our user flag. And uh, let's check the word count uh, of user.txt. We can read it very well. So now we need to move to the root flag and uh, just always uh, look for the file names if they have mentioned the file names then those are useful um, in some cases and in, in in other cases they just mention user flag and root flag and file name can be anything uh, or the same as well but if the file name are mentioned that's that's really great so from here we need to find uh, our way to uh, escalate our privilege can we check the root directory no we can't so let's check the sudo minus l because we have the password so we can check this so it says slash bin slash cat uh, we can run uh, cat command using sudo 
so we just need to run sudo cat and we can directly directly mention the um, root flag uh, path so here is the root flag so that's it if i hope you have enjoyed uh, this uh, this room it was uh, quick and easy and the only new thing which i saw in this room uh, is uh, the web dev um, uh, directory and the uh, command line functionality so this is very uh, short and crisp uh, room and um, if we um, uh, check the uh, command switches of of this uh, CAD CADA VR tool it is also very very uh, simple to use uh, nothing complicated just like uh, FTP operations uh, putting the file and downloading the file and there are other command line as well but I think uh, the these basic uh, functionalities are common um, and standard so, so keep watching the videos and I will keep uploading a uh, new challenge uh, recordings and uh, happy learning have a great day bye bye